ask yourself, did you do it correctly? Job title. Doctor. Title specifics. OBGYN. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Okay. So this is the type of doctor that we're going to have. Now, here are some topics that this particular doctor will be able to speak about. Any OBGYN should be able to talk to you about cervical cancer, STDs commonly found in women, birth defects, the, the effects of HIV and AIDS on babies, birth control practices, infertility. Any OBGYN should be able to talk about these topics. So, these are the topics you look up. So, so your paper is going to be about one of these topics. Now, I know you're probably wondering, what's the difference between this project this year and what I did last year for my junior project? The difference is for your senior project, you're looking still at one of these topics, but it needs to be a controversial issue. For example, let's take the effects of HIV and AIDS on babies. There are some women who are HIV positive, who know that they're HIV positive, and still choose to have a baby. Because there is a way to have a baby and not pass on HIV to your child. But it's very, very risky and it's not always effective. That's controversial because some people say, if you have HIV, you should not have a baby. Others say, if you have HIV and you're taking your meds and you're working with your doctor, you should be able to have a baby. That's controversial. When somebody says yes, the other side can say no. And there's enough research to argue both sides. That's what makes it controversial. Let's look at cervical cancer, okay? Cervical cancer, by itself, not controversial, right? Nobody wants it. However, the treatment is controversial. Some people say automatically you should do a hysterectomy, you should remove everything that's down there. That way, you have no chance of developing a further set of cancer. Some people say treat the part that's infected. And then here's some more controversy. Should you use holistic med medication? Should you use something like herbs and different fruit juices to treat your body? Or should you go with the harsh chemicals that are found in chemotherapy and radiation? That's controversial. Because some say the radiation and the chemotherapy does more harm to the body. Others say nature has a way to heal just about everything. So should you go for holistic healing or should you go for medical healing? That would be a controversy. And for you, you would have to pick a side, and that's what your paper is on. Yes, you should use holistic, holistic medication. Or no, you should not use holistic medication. You should use radiation and chemotherapy to treat cancer. That's what your paper is on. Alright, so be careful that you're not focusing on the, right, on the wrong thing. You're not writing a paper on what it takes to be a doctor. Any fifth grader can do that. Instead, you're writing on a paper, you're writing a paper on a topic that a specific doctor would reasonably be expected to be able to explain. And when you go to your doctor's office, they have to tell you the pros and cons of both sides. So they can argue both sides. For your paper, you're only arguing one side. Alright, so you're going to pick one topic that you can find a reasonable amount of information on, and that's what your paper is about. So your paper would not be about cervical cancer and STDs and birth defects and birth control practices, it's just going to be about one. Your paper could be about that teenagers should not be given birth control. Or you can write about teenagers should be given birth control and they should not have to get parental consent because of whatever your reasons are. Alright, so now you're probably trying to figure out how do you know which, paper to which topic to choose for your paper. It's all about your research. You may have to actually go back and research all of these topics to see which one you find the most information on and that's the one that you actually write your paper on. So that makes sense because it's a research paper. So you should have to do some research. Alright, so how do you do research on the internet? The first place that you should go is to the City Grove website and click on the Media Center's homepage. That's the first place you should go. When you get there, there's a tab that says Galileo. Galileo. Click on that tab. This is where you can find your scholarly articles. All of these are academically approved articles to use. They are excerpts from books, book reviews, and actual articles from scholarly magazines. Anything you find on Galileo, you can use. There's another site called NetTracker, which is still on the Cedar Grove Media Center page. And it's 
basically like the Google for the internet for academic searches. So you can type in what you want and it will actually go through the internet and pull out only academic searches. It gets really tricky when you go straight to Google because anybody can have a web page. I even have a web page. And so my things could be factual, could not be factual. But if you use NetTracker and use Galileo, you know that these are scholarly sources. All right. So what are you doing? You're writing a paper that will inform the reader about your topic. I know you remember how to write a persuasive paper because you did so in your 11th grade class for your writing test. But now you're writing a persuasive paper that actually has research in it. Remember, you're the expert, so you're the authority on this topic. You're not asking us any questions because you have all the answers because you've done the research. You will use articles, websites, and documents to prove your statements. This is your job. This is your task. So, your paper, as any paper should have, you should have an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. Don't let the length of this paper fool you and get you overwhelmed. You still need to have an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. So we will stop here and we will go through the different parts of the body in another video.